Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Candace, and thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate your love and support. Um, as you can tell from today's video, we are going to be talking about my self improvements for 2019. I really wanted to continue the video that I started off last week, starting about my struggles and my truth, and how I'm going to go ahead and do better not only for myself but also for you guys in producing more content but the content itself is going to be more geared towards lifestyle and self-improvement self-love and kind of showing my journey to you guys on how i'm actually doing those items as well and growing within my own self so if you're my candy babes thank you so much for rocking with me i do appreciate your love and support and if you are new welcome i hope this new venture of self-love and self-improvement really does inspire you for 2019 or if it's later in the year or wherever you decide to watch this video i hope it does help you because this is what's going to help me grow and i just want to grow with you guys and showcase that like i said before today's video is going to be on my top five self-improvement for 2019 so if you would like to see how i plan on improving myself as well as showcasing that to you guys this year then go ahead and stay tuned so first thing that i want to say is not to be so harsh on myself i have a tendency to be harder than anybody else give myself more of an understanding that it's a process not every single time i'm going to do it is perfect it's going to be perfect it's going to hit the mark because that's just not life it's not going to do it that way and i really want to showcase that you know we're all human you know what I mean? And it's okay to make mistakes, but it's also okay not to be so harsh on yourself to where you diminish yourself, you make yourself feel bad, you make yourself feel worried or anything like that, or add more fuel to the fire of what you're already going through. I kind of just want to like embrace that on myself and just say, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. There's no reason for you can't just relax, take a breather, and you'll be all right. And if I can say that for myself, I know you can as well. The second thing that I want to self-improve this year is continually doing Pio or doing either some yoga and meditation. Pio is a combination of Pilates and yoga and you kind of infuse them together to create um, different moves for stretching and kind of meditating and working with the body. It's a really good fitness mental thing for me. It's a combo of both and I really like that a lot. Uh, for me, I'm probably going to do more Pio on my Candy's World page because just side note, I'm going to close my fitness page here in a little bit. I really wanted to incorporate meditation into my routine this year. I've noticed that with my past and things that I've dealt with, I have a lot of anger. Things that I have that I thought I let go, but I haven't let go. I want to be more in a better mental state where I can express myself in words without having to get heated, without having to get more aggressive or to make my point because I want to say what I want to say. I want to be more able to communicate better with my words in a positive way rather than a negative way. So that's where the meditation kind of like helping me with my anger, helping me with my depression, helping me with all kind of outlines for myself so that I'm being better for myself internally. Like I'm literally wanting to work on both the outside and the inside with myself. So that's why I kind of want to embark on more of the Pio and the meditation because I feel like those two things will definitely help me mature and grow. So that's one, two, and three. So with number four, be more present and involved in my kids and doing more things outdoorsy and just spending time with my boyfriend and really reconnecting together. Oliver is about to be two here in a little bit. Isaiah is in fourth grade and turned 10. Me and Bay are still working on ourselves and getting better and I just want to continue that growth that we're all going through and I don't want to miss any of the fun things like going out to the park or just going out period or just sitting downstairs and watching a movie. I don't want to miss any of those things so I want to be more present like that's something for sure I want to really incorporate this year. So my fifth and final thing that I want to say is I want to continue to challenge myself and do things that are outside of my box that A, either connects me and you guys on a different level and E, if it's more of my looks that I wanna do, like really challenging myself and saying, you could do that, it just takes practice. Like there's a lot of things I know I need to practice on, like my line work, I wanna practice more on certain creativity, like coming out of different ideas and not so recreating other people's looks or different, different characters. Like I really wanna just start showcasing my own version 
and have me be the staple rather than me following somebody else. So for my own self, I want to continue challenging my art and my technique and if makeup is literally like the thing that has that is such a blessing that I didn't really know I didn't really know that I had honestly it's something that's helped me therapeutically it's helped me just challenging and doing something fun and you know it's brought me to meet so many different people on so many different levels and I had so many different opportunities while uh, working with different brands and talking to certain people and it's it's really opened a lot of doors for me and I know that it can open a lot more as well but I have to continue my craft I have to continue doing things that are different and outside my box and that is one of the things that I want to do for my own self-improvement so yeah that is going to be my whole list at least my top five for what I want to keep involved in my life out of my list that I've stated on this whole video what are the ones that you guys can think of for your own self-improvement let me know in the comments down below what are the things that you want to self-improve I hope what I'm doing is inspiring you in some kind of way I hope that you guys enjoy this first one where I just talk about my own self-improvement how I want to implement that on my daily and also showcase you guys as well I'm gonna stop rambling on this is gonna be the end of the video bye guys <laughs>